Hi, this is Jared from EO Edmonton. This is Jamie from EO Cincinnati. And you're, you're watching, watching EO TV. Hi, welcome to EO TV. I'm Randall Mauricio. And I'm Terry Apostle here with your EO TV webcast. Yeah, today we have a member spotlight and an expert to interview all lined up for you. And the topic on tap is standing out from the competition. Yeah, so why wait? Let's dive in. The definition of competitive advantage reads the means by which a firm manages to keep making money and sustain its position against its competitors. But defining your advantage and beating your competition are completely different things. Today, finance writer Dilip Rao tells us exactly how you can do that. I'm Dilip Rao, and I'm the president of uh, Interfinance Corporation. And basically what a company does is works with entrepreneurs, and we have developed a whole bunch of online tools, and we publish books to help uh, entrepreneurs improve their performance. And our latest book is called uh, Bootstrap to Billions, where we have uh, basically profiled 28 entrepreneurs who've gone from zero to 100 million. And what I've done is profiled how they did it and the lessons from this for other entrepreneurs. And, uh, and I'm planning on doing more of this, and some of this will be on Forbes.com, where I'm a columnist, and I'm a finance columnist, and I'll be a columnist for these profiles to find the unique competitive advantage in a growing industry. And the reason for the growing industry is because the trends favor them and the higher the growth, the faster the ascent to either 100 million or a billion. But in terms of finding the unique advantage in a growing industry, let me talk about Horse and Aveda. Aveda was, is a great company, has some terrific products, and Horse Reckelbacher is the guy who started it. And essentially what he did was he came to this country when he was uh, early 20s and he was a champion hair designer in Europe and uh, he worked at a salon and he was so good that he had a great following and one of his customers who was a banker basically said why don't you start your own salon and I'll fund you. And he recruited his first batch of about six or seven hair designers and he trained them and then he wanted to keep them but by this time he had trained them so well that the other salon owners wanted to recruit them so they all went and joined the others so he decided to sell off his salons and he opened a hair, hair school where he then called up the salon owners and said since you liked my uh, training so much because you recruited my employees why don't you send to me the people that you won't train, and I will train them. And they sent Phil his first class, and he made a profit from day one. Thanks for that great advice, Dilip. And here's a question for you. What are you doing to stay ahead of your competition? Well, we caught up with EO South Africa member Ashley Kotzen in Hong Kong to hear his answer. Well, we're a very football-focused business. We do nothing else. And the key thing that's giving us the edge is our focus. Uh, we're very focused in the football industry. We provide a very key service that none of our competition do. Uh, we tend to focus on execution, where a lot of companies want to focus on the strategy and the, 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 big, the big idea stuff. We want to be seen as the executors or the deliverers, because once we've executed a project and made it happen, people are traditionally wanting to rebar and uh, our repeat clients. So for us, we're very focused in the football space, which for us is important. We do nothing else. We've learned to say no to uh, other opportunities that may come along. And as a result of that, people value our focus and they want to use us if they want to be executed in that space. And if you have a competitive advantage story, why not email it to us? The address is on your screen. Earlier this year, the Canadian region launched a forum-based competition to help drive overall chapter health across the region. The goal was to generate a competitive spirit among forums across Canada, and in the end, 
EO Edmonton stole the show, walking away with $3,500 US. And we here at EO TV just want to send our congratulations to that winning forum, huh? Great job, guys! Yeah, and I'm sure those guys <laughs> have their own motivational thoughts that they live by, but there's always, always room for one more, huh? Let's hear it, Randall. Do you the only do that place, again? the only place where success comes before work is a dictionary. Clever yeah. and true. Do you have a motivational thought that gets you in the zone? Let us know by commenting on the player below. I might even use it one day. Did you know success comes before Terry as well? Ouch! Just a thought. <laughs> that hurts. See you next time. <laughs>